up guys, Gaz Burrows here, BurrowsPT.com. Slightly ill today, I got a bit of a cold, but I'm not gonna allow it to stop me going on my morning walk. So here I am. More importantly, I wanted to bring you some value and another video to take into the week going forward. Today, giving you a workout that you can do whilst you're out on your run. So we know the importance of strength training. We know it's gonna boost speed, it's gonna improve performance, it's gonna improve technique. And it's gonna make you an overall better runner. What happens if you can't get to the gym, for example? Today I'm gonna to share with you a workout you can do when you're out on a run using one piece of equipment. A part bench. So let's get straight to it. First exercise will be a split squat. You're gonna start with both calves against the bench. From there you're gonna step out, so you're gonna go into a lunge, but you're gonna put your back leg onto the bench. You're gonna drive through that front heel. I want roughly around 70% of your body weight driving through the front heel. And you're gonna stand tall. It's a tough exercise. It's gonna work the glutes, the quads, the hammies, and it'll get you strong. The second exercise will be a step up into a reverse lunge. So say you're working the right leg, you're gonna step up with the right leg, drive the left knee up. As you step down, you're gonna perform a reverse lunge. It's working the glutes in the full range. So again, it's gonna make you strong, it's gonna make you fit, and it's gonna improve overall running technique. The third exercise moving on to the upper body will be a press up. So you could do incline press ups here, or you could do press ups on the floor. If you're doing incline press ups, simply place your hands on the, the edge of the bench, body weight forward, heels over the toes, head past the hands, feeding the elbows back, you're going chest to the bench. Before moving on to a slightly tougher exercise, the pike push-up. This time you're gonna put the feet on the bench. It might feel a little weird at first, but you're gonna get into that downward dog position. So your hips are gonna drive upwards. From that position, you're just gonna perform what will be an overhead press. So you're bringing the head down towards the floor and you're using more of the shoulders to drive yourself up. Again, you could do these on the floor if it's too much, or you could even just stick with press-ups, that's cool. The final exercise will be a bench dip. So sat on the edge of the bench, fingertips face forward, hands just outside the hips. You're going to just lift yourself off with your hands, bring your feet out slightly, the straighter the legs here, the harder it's gonna be. You're just gonna drop the hips towards the floor, driving the elbows back and pushing up, isolating the triceps. Like I said, with all these exercises, you want to aim anything between 8 to 15 reps, and you can repeat that circuit twice through mid run or at the end of your run just to get a bit of strength work in after your endurance workout. That's it, guys. A workout you can do using a part bench only, which will improve your upper body and lower body strength. Hope that helps. Take it easy.